All right, guys, super excited to make this video. Um, I'm gonna be showing you guys another indicator that I found that works really, really well with Easy Algo. And you're gonna be blown away once you see how accurate this is, right? But not all the signals uh, will hit, so you need another indicator um, to kind of mitigate those false signals. And that's why we have Easy Algo for the support and resistance levels. And this works really well, I found, on a lower time frame too, like a five minute time frame. So I'm actually gonna go onto uh, a five minute time frame and now it's not the best time because of the price action obviously the fomc meeting congrats to anyone who got in uh the short position right there i didn't take it because i don't really like to mess with the fomc meetings whenever whenever that goes on i try to stay out of the markets as best as i can um so what we're gonna do we're gonna go to japanese candles first of all so use the standard candles for this strategy um you could use heiken ashi but i find it's a lot better when you use uh, the japanese candles and load in your easy algo right if you don't have easy algo already be sure to click the first link in the description below to get yourself this trading view indicator as well as to join the pro discord uh, and we have some huge stuff coming for everyone who has the indicator now um so you know if you already have the indicator stay tuned because we have some big stuff coming uh very very shortly but the indicator that i'm going to show you guys is called uh, divergences for many indicators v4 it's a free indicator all right it's a free indicator so we're going to load this in um, and like i said i wouldn't use this on its own but when you combine it with easy algo it's absolutely insane um, and i've been using this and seeing some great results so we're going to go into settings real quick and we're going to keep everything standard except we're going to turn off the show divergence lines and we're going to turn on don't wait for confirmation um, i've seen a couple of you guys use this indicator before um, and you have this unchecked, that's gonna make the divergences one candle late. Um, so you want it before the next candle confirms. So you'll be able to see what I'm talking about. Um, so we're gonna press okay. All right, there we go, finally. So you'll be able to see, right, when we come up to an easy algo level and we see one of these divergent signals, um, that gives us an extra confluence to go into the trade, right? Um, now, there are a couple of settings you can modify, right, like the amount of divergences that you see, uh, but I like to keep it at one, all right? Um, I like to keep it at one. And the ones that have more than two or three, I like to take a little bit more seriously, right? Like for example, this one has the MACD uh, and a couple of other ones confirming, right? So when I see that all of those are confirming a divergence on this candle, I'm gonna look to enter a short on this candle closure. And just to be sure, I'm gonna go into back test mode. So you'll see that that easy algo resistance level uh, was actually there ahead of time, right? Right, so we see we have this high level right here. So we're already looking for a short from this high level, right? So we're gonna play this out. All right, we're going up. And there we go. Now we see we have four of them confirming on this candle and we've broken above this resistance level, but we're technically still at this um, resistance zone, right? So this is not a breakout. Uh, we're looking to short from this area, right? So after we see that, we're gonna enter the short position um, so let's enter the short position from right there, right? So as soon as that candle closes, we're going to enter the short position. All right. And look at that. Boom. Now it starts dropping. All right. And you probably get out right around here. So, you know, a 1% move um, and, you know, your stop loss is at 0.3%. So almost a three to one risk to reward ratio. I uh, could still hold it looking to take profit at the next easy algo support level, probably right around here. All right, so that is your trade, uh, which is a nice, you know, almost a percent and a half move. And now you're looking for a long position, right? Um, so let me go back again real quick. So now we're looking for a long position from this easy algo support level. Uh, like I said, this is on the five minute time frame, right? So you might be noticing that we're not actually entering based on the buy or sell signal. We're using that as confirmation after the fact, right? So we're waiting for it to come to one of these low easy algo levels, low or high easy algo levels. Um, and then we're using this as confirmation to enter the trade. We're not using uh, the easy algo buy and sell signals as confirmation, right? So let's see what happens, right? On this one right here, now we have an OBV uh, divergence that confirmed on this candle, right? So this is where we're gonna enter the long position, stop loss below, previous swing low. Um, we'll put it right under the support level, somewhere around there, right? And now we're looking for a long position. And we're gonna probably target um, this easy algo level, right? As our next take profit, stop loss to break even, probably somewhere around here. Um, and I'm sure we're gonna hit this, right? There we go. So we hit our take profit. So now that's another, you know, percent, uh, over a percent move, um, another, you know, almost four to one risk to reward ratio. Now, if you're compounding using this, this can be seriously, seriously powerful. Um, and let's see, we have another uh, divergence on the RSI. I don't really like the RSI divergences, um, but you know, that is at a high easy algo level. 
but yeah, as you can see, um, if I go back, I think we had one. Uh, did it confirm here? I'm not sure if this one actually confirmed or not. Uh, but I don't like to take the RSI alone. Uh, I just don't trade with the RSI that much. So I really don't pay attention too much to that one. Um, but the OBV, I definitely do watch out for as well as you know, if we have a ton of them, like right here, we had seven of them at this level, I'm definitely going to be looking for that. Um, but you can see right, we have a couple of other divergences in the middle of a ranging market. The way we're going to mitigate these ones are using the easy algo support and resistance levels, right? So very crucial um, that you have easy algo as well, um, because if you try to trade just with this indicator, you're going to get uh, chopped up, right? But I find this helps enter a trade earlier um, using easy algo. So like I said, the combination of these two uh, is extremely powerful, right? So we're gonna go one candle at a time. Um, all right, now we have this one. Bu, 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 and all right, so they do change, I, I believe. So I do believe that this indicator is, um, I don't want to say a repaint indicator, I guess it would be repaint. Um, but you know, sometimes the signal will confirm, and then it'll go up and then it won't show again in real time. Um, but that's totally okay. Because like I said, we're only taking these at the high and low easy algo levels, right? Now, now you're not going to be taking any of these because we're already well out of this range, right? So now we're not gonna be taking these um, but you know, if you want to do a quick scalp, maybe you see this on the five minute and go down to the one minute for the entry, you know, that's totally fine as well. Um, but like I said, we're not at an easy algo support. So we're not going to be taking any of these trades um, with the divergence signal seriously. And also they only have two or three this one, right? This one has four. Um, so when you see one that has four, if we look back, all right, this could be a swing failure, um, you know, of some of these candles. So this could have been a good trade to get into. Um, but like I said, this is on the five minute, so you really want to wait for the levels. And we also had an easy algo sell signal and a bearish engulfing candle on the following candle. So definitely be sure to learn your candlesticks as well. Um, bounces perfectly from that easy algo level. Um, now it looks to be going back up, right? So and we're going to go to the 15 minute time frame. Um, I find this also works pretty well on the 15 minute time frame. Uh, above the 15 minute, I wouldn't really recommend to use this, uh, especially if you have easy algo already. Um, but you know, like I said, on a lower time frame, it can be extremely helpful when you're already at a support or resistance level, right? Now the 15 minute, there's gonna be a lot less of these confirming, but when they do, uh, keep an eye out for them, right? For example, we've got a couple of divergences here at this low level, um, comes back up to this easy algo resistance level, we have a stock uh, bearish divergence, right? Price comes down a little bit. Again, we have an OBV divergence followed by uh, a few other divergences. All right, now we're gonna enter a short position right a MACD and stochastic again, you're going to enter a short position. This is on the 15 minute, right? A couple more divergences at this easy algo support, you're going to enter the trade. Um, and these moves can be pretty big, right? These moves can be pretty big. Um, you know, 3% move. So, so this indicator is definitely something um, that I would recommend, you know, looking out for, right? We had all of these divergences here before the FOMC meeting. Um, but you know, obviously, I wouldn't really recommend trading during that. But that's pretty much it for this video. I just want to show you guys this indicator, I think it can be super helpful as another confirmation. Like I said, I wouldn't rely on this solely. Um, but it can help you get into a trade earlier. Um, if you're taking it at an easy algo support or resistance level. And if you have other confirmations on easy algo as well, maybe like a mild buy signal, right? Any of those confirmations, if you have a divergence with it as well, it can be super, super helpful. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like subscribe to the channel for more trading content. And I'll see you guys next video.